I was on patrol at Time Economy uh, with my partner, and as we've come around the corner from South Acre onto Rentham Street, I've noticed um, a lad running out of a shop with a balaclava on, uh, and then I've noticed him run back into the shop. So myself and my partner have gone towards the location uh, and looked in the window and seen two lads inside with balaclavas on, uh, having a bit of a, a scuffle with staff. One of them has run back out the shop again and I've tried to spray him with my captain spray, however, the balaclava's caught the spray and he's had no effect on him and he's run off. Shortly after, the second lad's come running out, he's stubbornly in front of me and I've, as he's come in front of me I've noticed a gun in his hand, so I've just gone into an automatic and I've just jumped on him and he's turned the gun against me and pushed it against my stab vest. I remember, I remember it, the thought in my head, I'm going to get shot. Um, and I just automatically thought, I've got to get this gun off him. So I took hold of the gun, yanked it out of his hand, and at this point he took the opportunity to run off in the same direction as his mate went. Uh, and I just remember shouting to my colleague to run after him. I didn't realise at first what it was, I just saw an object in, in the hand until James wrestled him and, and shouted that it's a firearm. Uh, by that time he was already running. James stayed where he was with the firearm and I chased both males. Uh, one was quite a way down the road by then, and the male with the firearm was 10 yards ahead of me. So I chased them into Highgate, into Southacre Avenue. I was aware that obviously we had recovered a firearm and they may have something else on them. Uh, the Southacre Avenue estate, it's a, a rabbit warren of our valleyways and little, little streets going off everywhere. Notorious for robbery, nominals, gangs, drug dealing. Um, it's not somewhere where you would go on your own. So I was, I was nervous running in. Chased them for a couple of minutes until I lost them down an alleyway. Firearms officers have turned up as well as a, a dog unit um, and my supervision. The uh, firearms have come directly to my location because that's where I've got the gun to make sure to make it safe. Uh, and the dog man has then tracked from my location into South Acre Avenue. So I've tracked with the dog and the firearm unit, pointed at where I've lost them and the dog took over and led, led a track. Um, and discovered a balaclava glove and a grey hoodie that was worn by the gunman. It was either him or me, um, and I, the most important thing at that point in time was the firearm. I, re I remember it vividly, and I remember, like I said, I remember the thoughts I'm going to get shot. It was quite a, a nerve-wracking incident, but it happened too quickly to think about it. Um, James obviously tackling a male with a firearm, and myself, single crewed, running after two people that may have had other weapons on them, um, so it's just having that courage and selflessness to act first and think later. My mum was worried, she was asking quite a lot of questions. Uh, my dad, I remember, just sitting there silently for about ten minutes, because uh, he worries regardless. Um, so when I mentioned about tackling armed robbers, yeah, I remember him sitting on the bed for ten minutes and didn't say a word. He was really worried. He's proud now, but I don't think he was too pleased at the time. As I was walking through South Acre Avenue, I remember saying to my colleague, uh, one of these days I'm going to walk around a corner and something's going to be happening in front of me and I'm going to be surprised and within seconds, you know, it happened. It, it, you're never prepared, you can do the job for 20 years, you'll never prepare, but what happens at that second in front of you, you just go into an automatic kind of like, you just deal with it.